Hello grade 7, this is Miss Mary and today we will complete our lesson. Uh, this is the second video for the fourth quarter. In this lesson we will speak about the physical properties and the chemical properties of matter or how we can describe matter. So let's get started and before we get started I want you to get the book and keep the book beside you because we will solve some question in the book. Okay, so let's start identifying matter with physical properties. Uh, when we describe something, we uh, describe it by two ways. Or when we describe matter, we can describe it by two ways. By physical uh, properties and chemical properties. So let's see first what does it mean, physical property. A physical property is a characteristic of a substance that can be observed or measured without a chemical change. Anything you can observe about the uh, matter without changing it uh, by your eyes or uh, by your by using your five senses or something you can measure by a ruler by balance uh, by spring scale something you can measure for the substance or the matter we call this physical property like for example uh, mass we can measure the mass of the object or the matter by uh, balance uh, we can measure the density also uh, and we can uh, observe the color or the hardness. Uh, we have many, many physical properties uh, like uh, volume, weight. Uh, volume and weight, we measure them by uh, like texture. Texture, we can observe. Color, we can observe. Uh, hardness, also, we can observe. So, some properties or some of physical properties can be observed by your eyes, by, by touching by smelling and some physical properties you need to measure to know them like mass and volume and weight and density as well okay uh, so let's continue mass and weight uh, the first two properties physical properties we will speak about uh, for today mass and weight uh, the physical property that measures the amount uh, of matter in the object is called the mass same mass and weight they are different and we will see how Mass is constant or stable at any place in the universe. Wherever you will go, your mass will be the same. On Earth, on the Moon, on uh, Jupiter, anywhere you will go, your mass will stay the same. If the mass is 60 kg, wherever you will go, you will also have the same mass 60 kg. For example, because the amount of matter inside doesn't change. But what happens to the weight? The weight changes. Like here in this picture, we have... Uh, the same astronaut on Earth and on the Moon. Look to the mass. The mass here on the Earth's surface uh, is uh, 120 kg. Uh, here on the Moon also the mass is the same 120 kg. So the mass uh, stays or constant. Nothing uh, changes in his mass. Uh, but the weight on the surface of the Earth uh, the weight means the amount of gravitational force. On Earth's surface, uh, it's equal 1,200 newtons. We measure it by newtons, the weight, okay? But the mass, we measure it by kilogram. So the amount of gravitational force on this person on, this, on the Earth equals uh, 1,200 newtons. But what happens when he goes to the moon? Uh, as we know that the moon is smaller in size, so it has less gravitational force than uh, the earth so the weight here on the moon is only 200 newtons which is less than the surface of the earth because which one has more gravity yes the earth has gravity six times the uh, gravity of the moon okay and that's why the weight changes so in the two pictures the mass is the same wherever you will go the mass will be the same but the weight changes according to the amount of the gravitational force uh, of the uh, place. Okay. So in this part, mass and weight. Uh, weight, the property that measures the force of gravity on the object, we call it, yes, we call it weight. So for now, we understood the difference between mass and weight. Mass is the amount of matter in the object. Weight is the amount of gravity on the object okay uh, here also weight is sometimes confused with mass but they are different unlike mass which is constant weight varies or different depending on where you are 
in the universe. Okay, so the first comparison or the first thing difference between mass and weight that mass is constant or stable, while the weight varies or different according to the place. Uh, the third the physical property we will speak about today, volume. What means volume? Volume is the amount of space taken by the object. The physical property that measures is the amount of space uh, matter occupies or takes. I like have two boxes here. One box it has leaves and this may be rock. Uh, if you see here we put them on a balance, they almost have the same mass but they don't have the same volume. This one has uh, takes more space. Uh, while this one takes uh, less space so which one has more volume of course this box will have more volume because it takes more space we measure the volume by unit cubic centimeter or cubic meters for solid and for liquid we measure it by liters or milliliters okay so uh, for now we spoke about physical properties uh, we spoke about mass we spoke about volume and weight Uh, density number four, the uh, density uh, is uh, the uh, amount of mass in volume. Like here we have three cubes and they almost have the same volume. Look, they almost have the same size, uh, but they don't have the same mass. Uh, like for example here the foam has mass 0.03 grams, the wood 0.7 grams and the lead 11.35 grams. So, uh, which one has the highest mass? Of course, the lead. And this means that the lead has the highest density. So, uh, again, what means uh, density? Density means mass per given volume. Look, if they all have the same volume, they don't have the same uh, mass because uh, this what mean uh, because they have different densities. If you put them all in water, uh, the water density is 1. So, if they have less than one, they will float. If they have density more than one, they will sink. If we put them on in water, the foam and the wood will float while the lead will sink down. How we measure density? Density equal mass over volume. Okay? So, until now we spoke about mass, weight, volume and density. Uh, density and now we will complete other important physical property, uh, we have also another physical property like malleable. Malleable it means uh, if the substance are soft and easily bent like uh, aluminum. The scientists also measure how well substance conduct electricity. Also this is another uh, physical property, conductivity. Um, and also boiling point is uh, also another physical property. Uh, so as I told you, we have many physical properties uh, and we said physical property can be observed or can be measured. Uh, chemical properties and now we will describe the matter chemically. Chemical property describe how matter participate or how matter can change to a new matter. The ability of matter to participate or get involved in a chemical reaction and form new substance. Like for example helium and the gold, they don't react easily with other substances while sodium reacts very easily and very fast. This is what's mean by reactivity. So reactivity is the ability of substance to combine and form one or more new substances. Okay, as I said, some substances are very reactive like sodium. Sodium, when you put sodium in water, it reacts violently and releases the light and the sound and the heat. So reactivity it means if the substance will react or change uh, to a new substance uh, easily or not. Okay? And this is uh, the first chemical property. We have also another chemical property called flammability. Flammability means if the substance easily burn or not. Uh, so now we will classify matter based on chemical and physical properties. We will classify them. We have uh, pure substances. And pure substances we spoke about at the first, uh, in the first video, uh, like uh, elements and compounds. Pure substance like what? Like elements and compounds. Uh, elements, we said that they are composed of the same atoms, the same types of atoms. 
compounds are composed of the same molecules. And now we will speak about the mixture. The mixture is not pure substance. The physical and the chemical properties of mixture can vary, but the physical and chemical properties of elements and compounds are uh, the same. A mixture is a blend of pure substances. When you mix pure substances together, and everything inside the mixture keeps its identity and its properties. Like when you make pizza, pizza is made of tomato, onions, olives. When you mix all of them together, everything of them, every uh, ingredient, keeps its identity. And so when you eat the pizza, you see the olives and you taste the olives alone, the tomato, the onion. Everything keeps its property. But in the and the compound is different. If you remember, we said when sodium and chlorine they uh, mix together, they make uh, sodium chloride, which is totally different. But in the mixture, no, the identity and the properties of each ingredient stays the same. It doesn't change. All matter can be classified according to the categories shown in the next slide. As we said, the matter classified into pure substance, which is made from one uh, kind of atoms or one kind of molecules, like the water. And here, elements, we have many kinds of elements. And a mixture, we have more than one kind of molecule, like the seawater. Uh, we said that the seawater is a homogeneous mixture because the salt mixes evenly or completely inside the water. And this mixture is a heterogeneous mixture because they don't mix completely. Uh, up here we have the oil, down we have the spices, this is salad dressing and uh, vinegar. So they don't mix evenly or completely. And this kind of mixtures we call it heterogeneous mixture, not uniform like salad dressing. Here we have a picture to show the difference between mixtures and compounds. In the, here we have both of them, we have hydrogen and oxygen atoms. But here the hydrogen and oxygen atom, they have bone between them and this is form molecule. Okay, so they become like one thing, um, hydrogen bond with oxygen to form water molecules and they become one thing. But here, the hydrogen and oxygen, they are just uh, together, they don't have bond between them, and this is, means mixture. So, in the compounds, we have chemical bonds, while in mixtures, there is no chemical bonds between the ingredients. Another picture also for how to classify matter, we have, as we said, we have pure substance and mixtures. Pure substance, like elements, they have one kind of atoms. Compounds have one type of molecules. Mixtures are two types. We have homogeneous mixture. They mix completely. Look here, the purple dots. Now the atom mix with the molecules of water. But the heterogeneous, uh, the molecules are up, so they don't mix completely, and that means heterogeneous mixture. Uh, so let's solve the, these questions together, page uh, 336, and let's start with the first question. Uh, in the first question, identify less two types of pure substances and give an example of each. As we said, we have two examples of pure substances, if you remember, what, like elements and compounds. Yes, so we have to give example for each. Uh, in this uh, element would be like helium, like carbon, like oxygen, like nitrogen. You have many examples for elements. Uh, compounds would be like carbon dioxide and water. They are examples for a compound. Question two. Describe what are two differences between compounds and mixtures. If you remember, um, we have uh, main differences between compounds and mixture. The first... Um, difference between them that compounds are pure substances and mixtures are none. Compounds, as we said, are pure substances and they have definite composition. Like for example, when I say sodium chloride, I know that sodium chloride is made of sodium and the chlorine atoms. Like uh, water, I say that water has hydrogen and oxygen. 
uh, we said that compounds are pure substances uh, and uh, they have definite composition where uh, the ingredients of compounds are always no fixed composition where they have the same composition wherever they are but uh, mixtures no the mixtures are always a changing uh, and they don't have definite composition uh, question three we will complete and fill uh, in the blank spaces in the flow chart below uh, as we said uh, in the first part what we classify them yes matter we classify a matter into uh, mixtures and we uh, classify them into also pure substance we have two types of pure substances like elements and yes compounds uh, mixtures also we classify mixture into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture uh, this was everything for today uh, I want you to solve the question in the book chapter 18 section 1 uh, properties uh, of matter we will solve the question you will solve it by your own uh, you will find it page uh, 329 uh, try to solve the questions on the side of the book and highlight the main important points uh, okay, and uh, see you in another video. Bye-bye.